Morning everyone, it's uh, Andy from the Booze Brothers Avenues again. Um, look, this morning I just wanted to talk about um, champagne or sparkling wine. So Australia we've got to call it sparkling wine because we're not allowed to follow the French. So sparkling wine have lots of different styles, lots of different price points. Um, some of the ones that I love are 100% Chardonnay, so they're called Blanc de Blanc. Those styles tend to be a little bit drier, a little bit, um, a little bit more elegant than uh, champagnes that maybe have uh, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay in them. The, um, the, the best selling of the 100% Pinots would be something like Bird in Hand Sparkling. So Adelaide Hills Sparkling, uh, it's 100% Pinot, it's a little bit fruity and it is a, um, has a slightly pink colour because obviously Pinot Noir uh, grapes are red grapes so they have a little bit of colour in the skin and the juice. Uh, but this would be the most popular because it's very friendly to people. It's very easy to drink, it's very soft and a little bit of sweetness in it just makes it more palatable to a broad range of people. The Blanc de Blanc that I like so 100% Chardonnay is again from Adelaide Hills, from the Lane Winery. 100% um, Chardonnay, quite dry, so if you like a drier style sparkling wine, this is good. In very hot weather, I reckon this is fantastic because it is really crisp, 100% Chardonnay, nice soft bubbles, um, and a nice little bit of fruitiness, but it's not sweet, it's quite dry. So that's another one which I reckon you should all give a try. Then we have something a little bit closer to in flavour to what you would get out of champagne. So from Brown Brothers, I personally I think this is the best thing they make. Um, it is sparkling wine, it has Pinot Noir, Chardonnay and Pinot Meunier in it. Now Pinot Meunier just gives it a little bit of a, um, a less dry finish. And then you get a bit of yeastiness in this wine, which you will always get out of um, French wines. Um, the, the classic things are uh, nougat and brioche. Brioche is that, you know, that bready smell that you get in it, or, um, or wet flour when you're making a cake. Uh, when you get that smell, it's just like, oh, um, it smells like baking. Uh, those sorts of flavours and then really crisp finish, just fantastic. And do you know what, highly awarded and very reasonably priced, so um, have a look at that one. Very underestimated wine. Um, and then we go, uh, you can go another Adelaide Hills wine. Um, so Deviation Row. Now this is a good example of um, how a, a sparkling wine should feel in the mouth. Um, at the Pinot and Chardonnay again, it's a vintage, so it, it's, all of the fruit comes from one vintage. The um, very small winery, Adelaide Hills and Deviation Road, they do everything by hand, including what they call riddling, which is turning the bottles um, so that the yeast in the bottle um, gets through all of the wine over time. Now they have, this wine has two years on lees, which gives it a really, um, you get all of that nougat and brioche flavors that I was talking about before. Um, very elegant wine, but the mouthfeel um, the bubbles should feel like, um, almost like when you have sherbet and they sort of fizz in your mouth um, and it should feel very soft. So you should be able to hold it in your mouth and the wine just fizzes up and makes your mouth expand and then you get all of the flavour. It, it's just, it's, it's one of the things we don't do because Australians we tend to just zoop, <laughs> slip things into the mouth very quickly. But with champagne you should hold it in your mouth a little bit and then swallow and you get all that fizzing and it feels like your, your mouth's being massaged. Um, and if you want that feel, give the deviation rate a go, fantastic. Yeah, look, I, I reckon that's a little sample of what we have in champagne or sparkling wine. Um, if you'd like to uh, come into any of our venues, uh, all of us have a good range of sparkling wine. The, um, and don't forget to have a look, uh, look uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, have a look at us on Facebook. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time.